repeated visits to the home while you're under contract. Hey gang, Alex Bracky here with The Valor Group. We are talking about our five biggest mistakes that we see buyers making and how to avoid those mistakes. Today, we're talking about tip number four here, and that is repeated visits to the home while you're under contract. The reason I talk about this is because once we are under contract, and many times that involves a home inspection, right? We have the ability to get back in the home to do things like a home inspection. But outside of that, the seller has no obligation to let us back in that house. And so oftentimes what we see is, you know, you're really excited, your significant other's really excited, you want to get back in and show your parents, you want their parents to see, you want to show your best friend, you want to get in and measure for carpet and for drapes and for all this. Every time we go back in that house, we're spending negotiation capital. We have to negotiate our way back in there. The thing is, is that hopefully everything goes smoothly, but I'm a hope for the best plan for the worst type of guy. My hope is that everything goes smoothly, but my plan is that we're gonna have to use some of that negotiation capital through the process to be able to negotiate our way out of things like maybe a low appraisal or, or goodness knows what. So I always say, look, we have a home inspection coming up in all likelihood. Plan to bring your parents, your spouse's parents, you know, contractors, whatever you need, bring them during that home inspection. We've already negotiated the right to be in the house for that period of time, and it's good to use that time that you've got. Don't waste your, your negotiation capital willy-nilly. You may wind up needing it, and the sellers ultimately, they don't have to let us back in. Save your negotiation capital for the big stuff that really may matter, and you'll have a smoother process for it. My name is Alex Bracky. Would love to assist if I can. Never hesitate to reach out.